గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ వెల్కమ్ టు లీగల్ మ్యాటర్స్ బై సాయిబాబు శంకర రీసెంట్లీ ద ఆనబుల్ సుప్రీం కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఈజ్ హ్యావింగ్ హెడ్ ఏక్ విత్ ది న్యూమరస్ ఫ్రెవలస్ పబ్లిక్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ లిటిగేషన్స్ ప్రీవియస్లీ ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ ఇయర్ ఆల్సో ఈవెన్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద కరోనా ముకుల్ రోహిత్ దీస్ సర్ సెడ్ సో ది ప్రాక్టీస్ ఆఫ్ పబ్లిసిటీ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ లిటిగేషన్స్ ఆర్ ద ఫ్యాక్టరీస్ ఆఫ్ publicity interlocution interest uh, litigation should be stopped because they do not any serve, serve any purpose no doubt do with the very actually with the very uh, intention of uh, reaching the general public or uh, making the general public reach the supreme court uh, justice pn bhagwati and others during the year 1978 or so they have uh, coined the concept of public interest litigation which is an exception to the locus standi principle normally if you have got any grievance you have to file the case but as per the public interest litigation is concerned on behalf of the general public on behalf of another person any person can file the public interest litigations so now they have been flooding of course it happened in the year maybe 90s or so since they were very great in number so the high court used to alert the police used to take the grab back ground reality and then only react suppose i will tell my example i think i was in kavali maybe in the year 2000 or so so there is a public interest litigations or so and so thing is happening in kavali or some people have been uh, some writ petition also filed so that uh, some person has been confined in the police station so in that connection the registrar of course the junior man of the registrar office has telephoned me and i said this is the fact he has been arrested and second this is the fact the issue has been solved by the local district collector then they have rounded up the petition there is they did not take the matter so that checks and balances will be there but anyway now the gussa <coughs> from the supreme court is that lot of false and frivolous pills are being filed in the supreme court right while dealing with the case of ardhend kumar das ardhend kumar das versus state of odisha so on 362022 in civil appeal number 4515 by 22 right <coughs> so uh, while dealing with the case uh, the supreme court held that the petition filed by ardhend kumar das and others regarding stoppage of the construction of public toilets water supply electricity repairs and renovation of the puri jagannath temple is not at all accepted right please remember previously one bharat lal or somebody he filed a public interpretation before the uh, honorable high court of odisha which was not accepted ultimately not that bharat lal another person by the name ardhend kumar das now he filed saying that he is an ardent devotee of lord uh, jagannath puri jagannath and no construction should be uh, taken up against the hindu religious, religious practices like that so he cited the sections 20a 20c and 20d of the ancient monuments and archaeological sites and uh, remains act 1958 but here remember the act says no further construction can take place uh, provided okay or except with the consent of the competent authority who is the competent authority endowments department is the competent authority the government is the competent authority they are doing it how can when it is an administrative decision you can the court cannot also interfere so please remember so therefore it is the court cannot do anything everybody knows it but why filing this uh, fudge uh, frivolous petition supreme court expressed mushroom growth so mana telusu putta kodugu laga vastunnai in the so called filing of the frivolous public interest litigations number 1 which encroach upon the valuable time of the judiciary unnecessarily they have to take up the public interest litigations first then the vacation bench of vr gawai and madam hima kohli they said unless this type of practice is nipped in the bud definitely such cases will stall the so please remember we will stall the general activities of the court in the larger public interest so normally this case relates to puri jagannath temple of course because of the unsanitary unhygienic or unsanitation the government action that to 
and uh, unauthorized constructions are so many so they wanted to demolish all these things they want to construct toilets or they want to erect some like that the government wanted but these people so they do object for the same because uh, they are the ardent devotees of lord jagannath so here the important legal point is as per section 20a no permission can be granted to the public works but please remember state says competent authority can give permission so definitely competent authority state is a competent authority is it not so now for filing this uh, false and fraudulent petitions actually the supreme court imposed a 1 lakh fine on ardhend kumar das why because actually if that bharat lal who has filed the public interest litigation in the high court of odisha and having not satisfied if he has come for writ appeal before the supreme court is okay at least the supreme court should have looked into the matter but here you we see he is another person no the public interest it can be filed any person by any other person so that is the problem therefore supreme court is feeling bad on the number of or the gampa gottaga pade twenty yokka petitions meda koncham jaarthaga undali ane twenty bhavam kuda vyakta parisindi kaabatti friends please remember if you want public interest it should be genuine public interest it should not be public interest it should not be unnecessarily harassing the court unnecessarily wasting the time of the honorable judiciary so if you remember this and if you file any good public interest litigation definitely people will accept even the high court or supreme court will also will accept the same anyway this is regarding the frivolous petitions which result in imposing a fine of 1 lakh to ardhendu kumar das right thank you very much